Hey, how's it going? It's Walsh here, sick as always. Welcome to episode 39 of my Ruthless SSF run in the Settlers League. I just want to come out and say if you're planning on rolling another character this league, or you really just want to play an Ignite build before this league ends, I highly recommend Fire Trap of Blasting Elementalist. This build is so smooth to play, it's very enjoyable. You get to use Cluster Jewels, but you don't have to, but you get to. It's very fun, you can automate a lot of stuff, and it is incredibly tanky. Highly recommend it. I am going to try some bosses in this video. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, I'll see you near the end. I'm not sure if this is my first time. This might be the second time I've done this, but I actually got a second Twilight Temple, which does mean I do get to make the Magna Eclipse, which is a pretty fun shield. Obviously, it's useless for me because I already have the Elemental Aegis. But, I mean, it's just cool to see the shield again. It's been quite a while. I might try to double corrupt it and see if I can do something crazy with it. Because it does give you plus two level of socketed gems. Not that that's really a crazy modifier, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I also learned that the element, or the witch actually has voice lines for killing beyond bosses. I did not know that. That's pretty rad. Unfortunately, I have to say, I was going to say unfortunately I dropped nothing, but I have to say, I think pretty much all of my tainted fusings actually came from the beyond monsters and not the bosses. So, if, I mean, granted, RNG is RNG, you know, that might not be the case normally. Uh, hit level 86, by the way. But if you are farming, or trying to farm for Tainted Fusings, just keep that in mind. I did get my first two-page shipment, or at least <laughs> the first one I remember. It was pretty terrible, but I mean, hey, it was cool to see. I can't complain too much. I got a double, double Corruption Temple. I didn't really have a gem to corrupt, but I really just want to use an altar. Like, now that I have to play less because so much is going on, I really want to, like, try to focus on doing really fun stuff to try to, like resurge my energy i don't know how to, i don't know how to describe it but i basically just want to double corrupt something and maybe hit something cool to inspire me to play something anyway though the swap was trash because the swap is always trash and uh the ghosts oh never mind i was say the ghosts were bad but hey val molten shell <laughs> i'll take it uh we got our first lens i just grabbed a level 20 gem sitting in my stash because why not and it died okay whatever hey, it could be worse okay oh hey plus all fizz uh, it's not bad. It's, it's not great, but it's not bad. I mean, I was hoping to get some, like, implicits on it, but hey, whatever, man. I can, I can recombine that, hope for the best. I don't really, like, have any amulets that have plus one anything right now, except for that one. Every time I try to, like, combine them, they've all died, so... Whatever, it's cool. It's cool to see. Anyway, though, got tier 17. I don't think this character's gonna be able to do it, but I will try some if I get some mods I can actually roll on. And I got a Tainted Mythic Orb. Which, uh, <laughs> okay. I mean, they don't ever hit, but hey, it's kind of cool to see one. I'm still trying to get gear for the Ivory Tower character, but man, it is rough. It is very rough. I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, at least it's always a build I can keep in the back of my mind. Because now I know what I need to make it work. Hey, Divine Orb. But I just don't have it. I do not have it. If I had, like, half of the stuff I needed, I would at least keep trying it. But it's so weak right now, like, it can't even do tier 1s. I spent, like, 25 minutes, like, re-gearing the entire character with the best stuff I had. Even made some tweaks, just, like, for pure defense. It was just terrible. Absolutely terrible. It was a nightmare. I just need stuff really bad. It's really hard to play Energy Shield with a budget. I'm not going to say that's true in all cases, but at least for this build, absolutely. Uh, also, I don't know what's going on in this league, but I found my third Singularity, which is pretty hilarious. I almost never find those normally, so I don't know why I'm getting them all now, but hey, whatever, I guess. I went and did some Tier 14 farming, just kind of chilling, trying to figure out what I want to do. I've been wanting to play, if you remember, I was farming for uh, Power Runes. We still haven't used any Power Runes, and the reason for that is the character I really want to play... Okay. Uh, the character I really want to play desperately needs a uh, shaper axe but unfortunately they're very difficult to get on ruthless so i might try an ultra budget version of it just because like i don't have as much time to play i mean i'm hoping to get more time later but i mean <laughs> i don't know we'll talk more about that later but uh i really want to at least try the character because the, to be honest with you it might never be viable again if we root uh lose the runesmith guy so i don't know i want i might want to try it i might not we'll see what happens anyway though more fusings this has to be by far the worst league I've had. I, that guy is fast as hell. What the hell? This has to be the worst league I've ever had for six linking. My god. I mean, at least we got one. I can't complain too much. I did get one. So, oh, actually, no. Technically, we got two because the tainted fusing hit one. So, whatever. But I do believe we are at like 1,100, 1,200. I'm not entirely sure. I really wish there was a counter for that, but I don't know. 
It could be worse. Anyway, though, we hit level 87. Leveling on this character is an absolute breeze. I pretty much never die. The only thing that does kill me is, like, really severe dots, but even those aren't too bad. Decided I had way too much currency lying around. I, I blame StarCraft for this, but anytime I have too much currency, I just have to spend it. It feels like... It actually feels bad. It, like, some people enjoy watching the number climb really high. I don't. The higher those numbers climb, the worse I feel. Because it's like, I have all these resources that I can be putting towards literally anything, and I'm just not. So, at first, I thought this jewel was good, but it was absolutely terrible. Unfortunate. I'd like to make an upgrade for this character, but eh, it's not a big deal. I went and killed a memory, and uh, honestly, I just stood still and kept throwing traps. I don't have to dodge, like, anything. Uh, except for poison. Poison will make me die pretty fast. Hopefully, once I get some chaos res, it won't be a big deal, but we'll see. As you can see, though, we're just killing Elder Guardians, no problem. I don't even move. I just kind of stand there. So if you really want a character where you can just stand there at DPS and you don't want to play like a, you know, the average character, I would, I would play this. I will tell you right now, this character is not going to do like 2 million DPS or anything. I mean, maybe if you add God to your gear, but I do not. Uh, while going to Shaper, I got my first Jack the Axis League, which is awesome. I'm probably not going to use it, but <laughs> it's pretty cool to see. We took down Shaper. I only died once, and I died because the slam attack. I wasn't fast enough to move out of the way, and I got what I deserved, and all the loot was terrible. I went and fought an Elder, and luckily enough, he did drop an eye. Elder has been very kind to me this league. It's like my fifth eye in total, and the eye was terrible. I can't complain, though. We got the eye. It's still cool. And Val. He did not die. All right. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but whatever. I went and fought Cyrus, and this has probably been the smoothest Cyrus kill I've ever had. I did die once, but it was because I wanted to see if I could take the, uh, you know when he does the, like, he takes his two hands out, and he shoots the lasers, and he combines them together? If I block it, I'm fine, but uh, I did die to it once trying to face tank it. Tried to Val the gloves, because what else do you do with those gloves? Unfortunately, they died on the first Val. That's pretty much how it always goes for me. I did get some sick gloves, though. Pretty happy about that. I used the uh, Harvest Scarab that guarantees you get at least one tier four of any uh, color that shows. Which, unfortunately, I did not get a seed or blossom, whatever it's called. But I did get a ton of, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what it's called, essence, whatever. Which is dope. Life Force, sorry. I always get it mixed up. I always want to call it essence. I lost a cool ring and I got a better one. Which, that's cool. Hey, my first plus two minion. <laughs> it's a little late, but hey, that's cool. So really quickly, I just want to go over my plan. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to farm for a little while, try to get a Tainted Fusing. If I don't get one, I'm going to reroll into a really fast mapper. I don't know how that character is going to be, but I've been wanting to play it all league ever since uh, they changed melee. But uh, if it does end up, if I don't end up, or, sorry, wow, getting all discombobulated. If I do end up getting the six link for my Cyrus shards, I'm going to reroll into another character. It's not going to be very strong, but I don't care. I love Cyrus shards, like my favorite unique in the game. Well, at least my favorite staff. I wouldn't say it's my ultimate favorite unique, but it's definitely up there. So uh, if you don't remember, we do have this. And funny enough, we did use one Tainted Fusing, and it went down to a four link. I gambled another one, got it back to five. So maybe we can hit six link. If not, I'm going to reroll into a character using this axe. It's going to be hopefully a really fast mapper. But for now, I'm just going to chill and do some beyond. Now, the reason I want to make a really fast mapper, I kind of want to farm a ton of scarabs, which obviously I could do on this character, but I want to level another build, that way I could see what it needs and if I even want to pursue going any, even further. But in addition, that character is going to have crazy movement speed, and the reason I want to get so many scarabs, I'm going to be really busy the next few weeks. Like, normally, if this was any other league, I'd probably just end the league right now and just be like, hey, I'm going to be way too busy. But instead, I'm just going to let you know, the uh, amount of videos is going to drop. There'll probably be like one video a week, maybe two. But eventually it should go back up, assuming things start smoothing out. But if not, you know, <laughs> things happen. I can only control so much. But uh, yeah, that's my plan. Farm a bunch of scarabs on a really fast mapper. That way when I do have like three or four hours to play at a time, I can use a bunch of scarabs and make my uh, farming really efficient. Which, honestly, I don't know. You probably don't have to do all that. I could just like, just play this character. That's way less fun for me. I just like playing multiple characters, as you already know. And plus, having a character that I'm pretty sure he's going to have, like, 70 to 90% movement speed. I I'm not 100% sure. And by the way, that's without a Devotos, because I don't have one, because I bricked mine. But yeah, I think that would be really fun, so that's the plan.
I really don't know what's going to happen in this league, like I was just telling you, but we did get a second Savalin, which is pretty rad. Of course, I'm going to try to double corrupt it again, because why wouldn't I? It would be pretty nice just to hit three uh, whites, but I do need to divine it first, because the block chance is terrible. I was doing some Abyss Scarab farming, and I did get a tier 17. Unfortunately, though, I did not get a second Stygian Vise, which does make me sad, but it is what it is. Got another Beyond Boss, he dropped uh, Trash. It's kind of funny, like, I'm pretty sure, like, 90% of the uh, fusings I found were from minions. Anyway, I had an Alva Temple, but it was so bad, I just deleted it. There was absolutely nothing inside of it for me. Not worth my time. Went and bullied a pirate, and he gave me some money, which is, uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that. Hey, look at that, 35% MS boots. That's the first time I got that. I don't know if I want to slam it or not, but we'll see. I got my very first unique at Hillock. I think in Ruthless overall... To be honest with you, I could be wrong. But as you can see, we have reruled. I am playing a Sandstorm Rage Vortex Scion. I love this character. In the campaign, it felt amazing. Leveling from 1 to 28 really sucked because I wanted to try leveling up using Spectral, sh uh, not Spectral Shield Throw, just Spectral Throw. And it was terrible. <laughs> it was so bad. I used to love leveling with that back in the day, but my god, it is horrible now. Anyway, though, this build is freaking awesome. The reason we don't go Berserker is Berserker kind of sucks in Ruthless, but also Ascendant is just amazing. We are taking the Slayer and the Berserker. Slayer gives us Overleech, Culling, and Immune to Fizz Reflect. Berserker gives us Instant Leech and Damage and more damage taken, which uh, we're fine with. I do a ton of damage. We have So basically this character, we have Instant Leech, we are immune to Stun, we're immune to Corrupting Blood, we're immune to Reflect, and we have Culling Strike. It's awesome. And we're going to be moving at like 55 movement speed. Assuming I do the Rage Mastery for movement speed, which like, why wouldn't you? But I might not just to save some points. But dude, this character is freaking amazing. If you really want to play like a melee character, this character feels like Blade Vortex combined with like a physical damage Vortex. Like normal Vortex. Anyway though, 4 hours 38 minutes, we died 4 times. The main reason I died is because I just didn't feel like dodging anything. I would just stand there. And uh, that's fine. It doesn't matter. When you can move this fast, you don't care about dying. Her first shipment back, we got an Exalted Orb, which is rad. I always love slamming something. And the only thing I really want to slam is the belt. Unlucky. I mean, it could be worse, I guess, but it's pretty bad. So already we're up to tier 5s. I'm just alking and going. This character is kind of disgusting. We really don't care about any modifiers at all. We do a ton of damage. The, I think the only mod I'm scared of is uh, you can't leech from enemies. Because without leech, we do die pretty fast. Hey, we got an eye. Is it trash? Kind of. <laughs> I mean, we can roll it, but uh, still. So I gotta say, for this character, you definitely have to be okay with doing two buttons. You don't have to do three. Like, as you can see, I'm automating my war cry, and that feels fantastic. I'm also using the uh, pirate gloves that give you a chance to get max rage on hit. Hey, another eye. That's yeah, actually usable. And you don't have to use those gloves. You absolutely don't have to. But it makes this character feel so much better. It also gives you the option to automate Berserk, which I think would be really fun. Not so much on Ruthless, though. Actually, I think it would be good on Ruthless, but if you do that, I'd say spec into uh, the Warcry node that gives you rage when you Warcry. Hey, we got the ring. <laughs> I'm never going to use it, but still. As you can see, at level 71, we took out level 80 safe house. I did die once. But uh, we also found an Untainted Paradise, so leveling has been fantastic. It went from 74 at 3% or whatever to 75 at 33%, which is pretty freaking good. Went and did my Uber Lab. It was an absolute joke. I did a full key run. Didn't dodge anything. And now I can start at the Duelist, so I can respec all the nodes up there and go down there and start a Duelist, which doesn't do a whole lot for me, but it kind of does. It saves me like three or four points. Hey, if you made it as far in the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I am level 75, 58% of the way to 76. This character is freaking awesome. I love this build. It's really fun to play. I even have the vulnerability on hit for my Admiral Gloves. Granted, they only get plus one, not plus three, but I really don't care. Attack speed doesn't matter too much. Uh, I will say you can use Impale support instead of Momentum to do more damage. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you're mapping, first of all, don't six link your rage vortex in my opinion six link your blade storm it's way better it's a skill you're going to be using 90 percent of the time uh rage vortex is basically for a a little bit of extra added single target i say a little bit it's actually quite a bit 
And also, when you activate it, especially if you use it with your uh, Intimidating Cry, my god, mapping is insane. You just run around and everything dies. It feels like, imagine playing Blade Vortex, but your Vortex was up for like 40 seconds and could even be longer. It is awesome. Still trying to 5 link my axe, but you know, my luck with fusings has not been very good this league. I do need to upgrade my gear. As you can see, my lightning res is just barely capped, but hey, I'm pretty happy we're res capped. We got some decent life. Anyway, though, let's talk about the build really quickly. Uh, we did take Slayer, like I was saying before, and we took Berserker. Uh, the inherent uh, rage loss doesn't really matter for us, but everything else is pretty good. Instant leech, more damage. We also get culling strike. Leech effects are not removed at full life and can't take fizz reflect. I don't really think it's worth taking the 10% of instant leech. I think you're way better off going for uh, this right here. More uh, increased armor while you're re uh, leeching because we're always leeching. It doesn't end. I'm also not even using pride yet. Because it's not... Oh, I am now. I lied. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, I lied. Last night, I forgot we switched it on. My, my bad. But uh, we do have it in light, so I can actually use Determination, Flesh and Stone, and Pride all at the same time. And I have no mana issues because we leech it so fast. It feels pretty awesome. And even without Rage, like, look, we're 44% movement speed, which is freaking awesome. I love this character. I don't have the mastery right now for the movement speed with Rage, just because I don't have that much Rage yet. I could get more, but it, it just doesn't feel necessary. I'm already really fast. We do good damage. I'm going to come up here and get Vanquisher, then I can take the master and get even more damage. The only thing I would really change on this character is I would have done it sooner. <laughs> like, oh, dude, if you want a cool little map runner character... This is it, man. Highly recommend it. Blade Storm of Uncertainty and Rage Vortex of Berserking. Also, what's really fun is when you get this to 20% quality, you get an additional Blade Storm. I'm sure on Bench League, you could somehow get another 20 and then have five storms. That would be awesome. I actually don't know if it scales up that way, but uh, if it did, that would be sick. But anyway, for us ruthless people, don't even think about it. It's not going to happen. Outside of that, I keep deleting all my currency. I still have the dream to play the Power Room character, but I can't promise you anything. Not only is the holiday season coming up, so like my wife's and my anniversary is coming up, but there's all kinds of stuff at home I got to deal with and real life stuff. So I do apologize for the infrequency of my videos, but I am still playing. I have infinite maps, of course, because our Atlas is awesome. Uh, right now, I'm still farming beyond because I have two dreams. A, or dream one, <laughs> Sire of Shards, and uh, dream two, the Power Runes, which I can't tell you about. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I don't know when I'll be back, but I hope to see you then.